Everybody rocks in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. Okay, so basically the easiest way to do this I use is color correction and I go to video filters, color correction, and color correct three way. Which if you go to visual under filters it comes up with these three wheels, which I'll go into a little bit more. But for basic lightness and darkness, I normally just up the middle and down the left, and that just kinda gives it like a more sharper feel to it. But you can always mess with what your uh, things are if you want to. The first wheel is blacks, which is basically everything dark in the video. So as you can see, if I make it blue, the darker the blacks will turn blue, and etc. if I turn it red. Uh, the mids is what is probably the one that changes the color the most, and that makes it all everything else. And then the whites, obviously, is like the whites of the standards. You can change that as well. And then this is just basically what it looks like, and that just kind of makes the video a little bit better. And then, of course, adding a texture is pretty simple as well. I just drag it and drop it to the top layer. And then I go to something called um, composition. So what you do is you right click the top and you go to composition mode and then there's all these options. Lighten is you can almost always get away with unless it's too bright. So I always use lighten. And then you can look here and this is what it looks like. So just let me make it a little bit cooler looking I suppose. Um, another thing you can also do is that is how you make it black and white. So basically, just simpler way, so you have all your light and contrast, obviously, but then you, that's just a simple way to make it black and white, and obviously you can adjust that dial in any way to make it different. And then obviously here's an example of it being more blue, or if you want to change it back to red, you can do pretty much whatever, you just kind of play with the settings and try to find things that you want. I tend to like it to be more red. Another thing you can do is add a solid layer on top of it, and I always use lighten as well. It's just like my favorite thing to do, and that just kind of adds a different kind of shade of color to it. I'm going to render it really quick, and then we can see what it looks like. And I mean, obviously, to get that solid layer, it's pretty easy. I just Googled white, and I came up with a white thing, and then I used color correction to change how white or how dark I want it to be. And then here's the finished project. Just a little bit more of an edge to it makes it a little bit nicer. Um, then obviously adding a texture can also do it. Um, I'm kind of going all out on this so I can show you pretty much the craziest thing you can do. Obviously you can add more layers, but in this case, I don't remember what texture this is, but it has a nice color to it, so it's one of my favorites. You can go to composition mode, lighten as I always did, and that looks okay, but because I've used lighten the whole time, I'm going to try something else, so maybe overlay. And because of the colors, it makes it really stand out and makes it really orange, really red, which is my favorite. And this is the final project. Hope you guys like.